Yo, Kenneth, what's up, boy? Well, I'm in this brand new concept, uh, Bronco right here, bro. Oh, let me get to the shit. Trying to do big things for yeah. Buck 12 Enterprises. Okay. Just All right. Yeah, I'm the head of the Buck 12 Enterprises. I'm on my phone. Okay, oh. you see that? It comes factory with a roof rack. Bam. I don't know what we could put on there, but we got I'm on the way. We're going to put it through the paces here in about 10 minutes. I'm going to be there. Bet. Hey, pull up on me, boy. We fit in the house on bro Bronco Fun. I'm on my way, bro. All right, bet. All right, we got that 2020 Bronco. 2021 Ford Bronco. Big Ben. What kind of popping she doing? It's but I'm pretty hot. sure the drag is two, uh, 2006 F350. Oh yeah. Yeah. She hot. She got reset. Yeah. We oh got, yeah, we, boy. We line the bitches up. Nah, I'm talking about like rope to rope. Uh oh, uh, rope. Oh yeah, we'll hook up. up. Yeah. We'll hook I up. Think it, I think it'll get you, man. Let's see what it do. Uh, let's let's run it hard up the road. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's slower than shit. Like it's slow. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, we ready. We ready. <laughs> what is it doing? <laughs> that be about that spit. Man. Well, we can try it real quick in the back, you don't see. Right. Where's Good. traction control on this thing? I don't know. Man, I just got this thing, bro. We, That's what we, got we, to, we eight hours in, bro. We got to figure this stuff out. Okay, so we're going to do us a little hit right quick. Bro. All right, all right. I'm gonna turn them around here. Move that Bronco! Make sure we're in sport mode and see here. Okay, we are in sport mode. Okay, okay. But we don't want long, we want sport. That's what we have after here. Yeah, this thing's lame. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is horrible <laughs> okay so that didn't work out all right, all right, shit, uh, we're gonna try this little see the little mud hole right here yeah, see yeah, let's see what this little mud hole can bring out of this baby yeah, let me get oh yeah we need to back up in there and fucking all wheel it all right, we need to go in here and drive through there bro this is a bronco so yeah. we ain't got to back it up all right ford bronco 2021 first take we're gonna see we got a little hole here if it makes it through here okay okay that joke sound like it's got a turbo we're gonna have to find traction control. She definitely got a turbo. <laughs> it won't turn up. Oh, we got to figure that out. And that bitch took a front wheel drive, they fucked them. It's, it's all wheel drive. Is this a tire or is this a truck? Right, here we go. Here's a good test right here. Okay. Yep, door. Okay, lift her up on the Ford Bronco. Okay. Cargo room. Let's see what we have here. We got a cooler's got to go in this, baby. Okay. You're going to see. I'm not showing her. That's the... I don't know how the thing works. Uh, uh, yeah. And my jumper cables. Oh, my power tools. <laughs> Thought you was at my house, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's not good. Throw it in the fucking back seat. I'm not, I'm not putting up with this. Uh, I see. Okay. Oh, that ice still, it's still ice back here, boy. Uh. Uh -huh, yep, get him. Oh, she won't go? Oh, man, this thing is, oh, man. Take this off, man. I ain't gonna fuck with it. Oh, it comes off of there. Somehow or another. David, you still there? 
Oh, you got it. Bam. Oh, yeah, we in there, boy. Huh? Like swimwear. We in there like swimwear, baby. Hey, hey. All right. We got that thing in there now. Hold okay, on. okay, okay, okay. Right. Like swimwear in there now. Ladder always in front. All right. She's back in business, baby. All right. Got tools in there. Uh, we got to grab one more tool. We got the sockets. Oh, yeah. Get them babies. We're going working, boys. Ford Ranger, uh, Ford Bronco, right, Sport, baby. Ford Bronco, David. Really? Well, do you do rock money? Ah, bro, we went to the Ford dealership. Told him any up. We test drove it. We ain't brought it back yet. We're gonna bring it back tomorrow. <laughs> we told we want to test drive. We ain't tell them how long. I did that before. Oh, they God. called. They like, uh, Mr. Jones. Uh, we're just checking on you. You've been gone for a while. Yep. If you ain't back like a 30 minute, they call real quick. Oh, no. Nah. It was about four hours before they called me. No. Uh, you have engine problems? We're going to trade you. We're going to let you drive this. We're going to drive the track hot. Yeah, we got to do it. Uh, <laughs> we need to do it. Uh, so, here we are. We've had the uh, 2021 Ford Bronco. This is the first edition. There's yep. going to be three that's going to slowly work their way into the um, manufacturer line. The Bronco, like it used to be. So, supposedly, supposed to be straight axle. You can get manual and automatic, like the original Bronco, the small Bronco. The only downside is at this time, they are not going to do the V8. Yes. No, no V8. This is a concept vehicle. We are about to take a look at it. We're right before we get on the interstate. So, we're going to just go around. We'll take, yeah. take, take it together. All right, so today we're in a 2021 Ford Bronco. Everybody's been waiting on the Bronco to hit, and here we are getting a first chance to show some people what we have. This is the middle version. This is not the uh, small one. You have, uh, I believe it's a front wheel drive one, or yeah, it's got to be front wheel drive, because this one here has a three cylinder EcoBoost. But uh, here we go. We're gonna walk y'all through it a little bit. Let's uh, walk this hood. Now me, as a Ford fan, I've been waiting for this Bronco to come out. It's here. And luckily, uh, Kenneth uh, hooked me up with let me drive it, test drive it, and see what it does and everything else. And I can go ahead and tell you right now, this is not what I'm expecting it. But I'm gonna try to show everyone all the good things about this. This is not my type of vehicle, but I'm gonna show you guys. All right, so we have, I don't even know what size, I guess a 1.5, 1.5 liter, three cylinder EcoBoost. Turbo sounds great on it, I love that. Now I can tell you that the turbo on this thing sounds awesome, I love it. Uh, let's see what size tires we're working with. Uh, this one here has, uh, where you at? Okay, 225, 65, 17s on it. Nothing aggressive. Come stock with the roof rack. Big Ben edition, whichever, whatever that is. Um, let's see if it's got a tow package. Yes, it has a tow package. And I just want to let y'all know, guys, Walt, Ford, Live Oak Ford is where this thing come from. If you want to uh, go to Walks and uh, check this thing out, you can go to Walks, maybe purchase it or test drive, whatever. It has rear camera. You have the glass. Okay, a little cargo area for the glass. And then you have the whole door on the other side. Uh, let's see the tag on this thing. Okay, we got the tag with us. We have, uh, let's see. Yeah, let's just give you guys one. You're looking at 30,000 bucks for this vehicle here. To me, it's not worth 30, but who am I to judge? Everybody like different things. I love horsepower, I mud. Like it. Give me 30,000, you can have it. All right, 
that man right there, 30,000, he said you can have it. Uh, Cougar man, how you doing today? 22.50. 22.50, he'll break it down. You get today's special, bring cash. Yeah, we just, uh, we just picked this new Ford Bronco up and we're gonna see what it does. We're hitting the interstate with it now. Gonna give the people a little test run. Maybe for all the people that's wanting to buy one, we, uh, we're gonna let them see what it's like. Nah. Just trying to ease down about Pensacola to get off the cat. <laughs> oh, we, we might hit the Osceola Forest today. We ain't, I ain't gonna promise you that we if won't make that. Enough, well, I go get the rope. <laughs> All right, Cougar Man, we out. We're hitting the interstate. All right, people, well, let's get to the interstate. All right. So, I think a very important thing to point out here okay, is- Okay, uh, talk to me, Tell, let them know. This Shine is, the camera on me. This, ve this vehicle is not available yet. Okay. So you cannot go down and buy one yet. This and, is a, I mean, you got enough money, you could. Uh, this yeah. is apparent, supposedly one of three left, or one of three built so far, so that they're giving them out to the guys to test them. This is just a uh, our, uh, our main pool vehicles in the shop. We have a 2020 King Ranch. Uh, we had an update issue. Long story short, uh, the truck's been down, so they're giving us this to test to kind of keep us quiet from bitching about them not fixing our duel. Uh, so right now, we're jumping up on the interstate, and I'll show Dan what I've already figured out because I've driven it once. So if you hit this button over here, okay, help him out here. So sure. this button here and that button there, and then you want to hit set. Oh, oh system you want on? Okay. And you want this button here. Hit OK. Then hit set. Cruise control set. Okay, here we go. All right. So now I've learned that you let go of the wheel. She's there. So what what it'll do is you'll see here in a second. It's gonna ask you to put your hands back on the wheel. But it's driving itself. It'll 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 take as far as you want to. We're going, we're going all the way live, so we're going quite a no distance. Hands. Um, so what's our speed right now? So we're doing, we're doing 70, let's just be like, so this, but I've learned guys, watch this. So either you can grab it and you gotta just shake it to make it happen, or if you set your phone right here in this cool little compartment, now you can sit and have a great interview and it will not come back on because the weight of the phone makes it think that your hand is on the wheel. So, okay, he tricked them. Yeah. Hey, so now we can have a really great, um, Oh, she's turning all by herself. Oh yeah, she'll follow the road. She, she's following the road. She'll follow and the road. What do we do when we come up to a truck? It what? will slow itself down. Oh, it slow itself down. Yeah, yeah. So you don't have to touch anything. So, so the only downside of this is, is that the truck in front of us will control our speed from top to bottom now. So you can't go no faster. But you'll see now that this truck is moving in front of us. Sorry guys, we can't go both sides. But the truck's moving, so now the truck is going to speed up. And if you see here, okay. if you see here, now we're at sixty. She's following it. We're following here, and it's gonna bring us all the way back up. To, see, we're in front here, so we have a vehicle in front of us, so it's gonna be hard for us to, to get out. But um, so this is what we're doing so far. But now, Dan, what you can do is, is put your blinker on and get into the other into the fast lane. But you have to manually do it. No, no, you don't have to touch the gas. Just just turn it with your hand. It, it won't it won't come out of the lane. Is the, is the only downside. It's almost full all five. So now you can let go of it and it'll take you back up to 60 off the gas, everything. And you'll see we'll get back up to 60 and we'll stay in the lane here. See, no hands, nothing's touching. The, the, <laughs> the way uh, 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 blinker on. Yeah. Okay, all right, blinker on. Let's see if she'll hand her on. Um, so you'll see we're, we're making a curve right now and the wheel itself will turn and it'll follow us along the curve. No knees or nothing. So. It does pretty cool. I like that about it. So that is one part I do like about the, the Ford Bronco is that it'll drive itself. So we're missing a lot of the cool things like we're used to, right? So what what guys like us, which we missed it, uh, truthfully, me and Dan are not old enough to be around when the trucks were brand new. But as kids and uh, things along those, those natures, we had 70s model trucks, we had Broncos. So what we're waiting on and what we're wanting straight axle, we're wanting V8, 
we're wanting those type of aspects. We are not there yet in the Bronco world. Um, but this is a great step. If this kind of technology copes with the VA, that'd be cool. Yes. Uh, but I don't know what it's going to do yet. N none of us know. N none of us know the future of Bronco. But you just sit around and wait and things go right for me. We'll have one of these Broncos with the new 7.3 Gorilla gas motor in it and let it be a ripper. Yeah, um, I don't think they're gonna come with seven hundred. No, we're gonna put one in it. Okay. Yeah. Right now, we're just we're, we're not testing out, so we're, we're trying to stay positive with the Bronco yes, and not yeah. for you guys and not right. get into the fact so, that it has a three. Stuff. I don't believe that this is the final Bronco. I think what they're wanting out of us right now is electrical issue. You know, they, they want to see how electronics. We want to see how we like that side of it, and I like it personally. And uh, now that we're riding, I can tell you guys this. I can give y'all this right here that this vehicle is actually excellent driving wise. It's, you're comfortable. I love the seating and everything else. I'm six to almost 300 pounds and I'm very comfortable in here. Like right here, I feel like I could drive to California right now. So that is not bad about that. The suspension, inside noise, yeah, a little loud. I hear a whistle somewhere in I'm this thing. I'm assuming that must be from the roof rack. It's up high. That's where it's at. Okay. That's exactly where. All right, that's the roof rack. It's got a big whistle in it that I can, that's aggravating me. But uh, but I will say one thing it is doing that no 70s model vehicle has ever done is the drivability of it's really nice. Yes. So we're going to find out here in the next couple months uh, because we are supposedly going to be able to test drive the 3, which is the Bronco that we are after. Um, so I've already set it up with Ford of, of Live Oak that we're going to be able to test drive. Like Connie, we're going to keep it for a couple days. We're going to keep this thing through the weekend, I believe. Yeah. We're going to keep it through yeah. the weekend. And we're going to uh, take a little trip on. We know we might take the whole crew down, to, you know, load a couple guys in here and take it down to uh, Orlando to talk golf. We're going to talk golf, something like that this weekend. Um, so as the whole crew comes together, we're going to see how it fits four guys or five guys. Uh, you know, when, when you're tight. Like right now, it's just me and Dan. Usually, it's just me and Dan. Right. Dan so, uh, you know, we drive single cab Rangers and we're okay. So we want to see what it's like when you got a bunch of people in here. Like the AC right now is nice, but I don't know what it's like when you got five guys in the Florida heat. I, I don't know. And I'm uh, definitely loving this monitor. This is a very nice size monitor. Uh, you control control your. Um, phone you have navigation the radio uh all kind of different apps you can add on to here you can find home if you're lost um this thing is twist knob twist knob shifter i'm not i'm not sure I like i'm that. not digging the twist knob shifter and she's about took his full ride there that is something I've noticed that if the lines go away and come back, it does not do very good. So if you're planning on going for a long trip and you don't want to pay very good attention at all, what you want to do is stay in the slow lane because not very often is a lane, but if this thing loses a line, so let's say like like what happened back there is uh, it was an on-ramp from the passenger side, from the driver's side, I mean. So when that line goes away and comes back, it's hard for the Bronco to re-navigate that. Um, so it does have its issues, but this is a prototype. This is not supposedly it's a prototype. I don't know. I seen a window sticker back there that kind of makes me show that it may just be hard to get them right now. Uh, so this may just be the first generation of them becoming public. But that's what we were told when we picked it up that um, it's not available. So, but they do have the uh, the three on order. Okay. So that's what we're doing. We're going to log off here. We're going to get back because we are on our way to pick up six 35 inch boggers for the tow truck that we actually have not shown you guys that I know of yet. No, I, nope, I have not showed them yet. Uh, I got a few videos of it, haven't posted. So I'm just waiting to get it all together and then we'll show you guys the tow truck. Okay. And you're going to love it. I, I, I'm, I'm in love with it. Uh, Ken have come up with a great idea and. Uh, we put our heads together and we're gonna make something happen out of the tow truck. Yeah, so we're gonna make another uh, uh, recovery channel together. So we're gonna have a lot of fun. I've known Dan for uh, uh, 20, about, well, no, it's about 20, about 20. About, yeah, about 20 years. Yeah, 20 years yeah. together. Uh, so we both, we, you know, we did big things together. We went to North Dakota together. North Dakota, yeah. well, that was a trip. Yeah, lived in the True Value parking lot six months without power in the middle of winter. 
Yep, yep. Loved it. Uh, and we made it. We made it. We both we went from no money to six figures a year. Yeah. Uh, pretty pretty quick. Um, we I remember our last twenty bucks. We bought some socks for for we bought one size socks like between the two sizes of us, and then um, we uh, we shared a, a, a foot long. Um, Sub from yeah, Subway. A sub, not that was the oh yeah. Yeah, sub, no drink, just sub. Yeah. And we uh, and we worked from there right on out to. Uh, Did you have to say foot long? Did yeah. you just say we shared a sub? Yeah, I guess I could have said just a sub. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what the rest of our money been playing right. So anyway, uh, so it'll be cool. We'll see how this thing goes on, but stay tuned. We're gonna be on Bogger soon. Okay, things you may see while driving a Ford Bronco, okay? We got that Bronco, baby. Oh, look, it's a deer. Some deers. You may see some deers, big deers. Weather quickly deteriorated while they were. Big deers out there. Oh, them deers ain't scared of nothing. That's things you may see when you're driving a Ford Bronco, baby. Deers.